Close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the sensation of breathing in the body, and focus your attention there. And as long as long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Make it shorter or even longer, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Try to get in touch with this process, because it is the force of life in your body. Without the breath, everything in the body would just die. It only stands to reason when the breathing feels good, it's going to be good for the body. When the body feels good in the present moment, it's a lot easier for the mind to settle down and stay right here. At the same time, you have to put aside all your thoughts about things outside. If they pop up in the mind, you don't have to pay them any attention. If you find that you do pay them attention, remind yourself that's not what you're here for. You've thought about the world for many, many years already. You let the world run on its own for a few minutes while you look after your own mind. Because the mind is what filters the world to you. You want to make sure the filter is in good shape. It's not filtering out things you need, and it's not allowing in things that are going to be bad for you. Because the way we perceive things has a huge impact on our sense of the world and then what we're going to be doing in the world. We can hold on to some perceptions that are really detrimental to us and to the people around us. And so you want to be in a position where you can check the filter, clean it out. And so for the time being, you don't want to have anything to do with the world at all. It's as if you're here with no one else. And there's nothing else in the world right now that's going to take your attention. So you can see how the mind deals even with something as simple as the breath. It's your test case. Probably you can take something that seems neutral when you begin with it, and you can either make it really comfortable, or if you want to, you can make it really miserable. We've had people come here, sit and meditate, and they open their eyes at the end. Even though the, day was, the days were nice, the weather was good, and they say, I've never suffered so much in my life, just sitting there and breathing. Other people find that you can sit and breathe and find a real sense of well-being and rapture, even. So there's a big potential here, a wide range of things that you can do with just this sensation of having the body sitting here right now. So why not make something good out of it? Try to find what way of breathing feels best for the body, most energizing when you feel tired, most relaxing when you feel tense. Breathing helps to loosen you up when there are sens sensations of tightness in different parts of the body. To explore this area, it's yours. When you try to find happiness outside, we always run into other people who've laid claims on things. But here inside, nobody has laid claim to your sense of the body as you feel it from within. This is your territory. And so you get to do with it as you like. You can think of the breath energy. And think of the breath energy as a whole body process. We're told that the breath is basically the air that comes in and out of the lungs through the nose. But how does that happen? It happens because there's an energy flow in the body that ebbs and flows. And that's what you want to focus on, a sense of energy. And that's not just limited to the nose and the lungs. You can feel it in different parts of the body. If you get really sensitive, you can feel it everywhere in the body. And see what that perception does. It helps it make the breath more comfortable, makes the body a better place to stay in the present moment. So that's a good perception to hold on to. In the beginning, you may not sense much of breath in different parts of the body, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Simply you've learned how to ignore it. Without it, different parts of the body would be paralyzed. So there is some energy flow there. Allow yourself to be open to that idea, and you'll find that it does a lot for you. Some people say, well, you're making things up. It's like telling a child that the world is round. The child can't see that the world is round. It's an act of imagination. But as the child grows up, finds out, yes, the world really is round. You fly from Los Angeles to Europe, you go over the north. That's the shortest route. 
And that wouldn't be true if the world were flat. It's the same with the breath. In the beginning you have to imagine it, and then you begin to realize, okay, once you open up your mind to that possibility, you can see these things, and you can take advantage of them. And this is just one way in which the meditation opens new worlds inside. So for the time being, let your thoughts of the world outside be at rest, so you can get to know this inside world much better.